Not turning on. Cool. Another one that's not turning on. What a surprise. It's a PS5. Of course it's not turning on. Would you want to turn on if you was a PS5? Alright. Okay. It's a constant beep every few seconds. Alright. And it's a 1200 series. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like working on these. I hate working on 1200 series. Alright, 1200 series with a constant beep every few seconds. Yeah. So much hate for the 1200. I just don't know the board as well as I do with the, uh, the other ones. That's all. I don't hate them. I just don't know them as well as the other ones. What's the telltale sign though? It's a 1200 series. That there is square, not rectangle. So straight away it's a dead giveaway that it's a 1200 series. You probably don't give a damn about what I've got to say, but just hear me out for a minute, all right? We all know that those sweaty little douchebags with cheesy fingers, living in the mom's basement, drinking Red Bull, and simping over TikTok losers are gonna break the console. And you and I both know that you're too cheap to buy off eBay, you're too impatient to wait for AliExpress, and you're just about smart enough to avoid Amazon completely. You can admit it, because I'm exactly the same. That's why I started my online store, consolefix.shop. I sell every part you'll need to fix the Xbox One, Series S, Series X, PS4, PS5 and Nintendo Switch consoles. So why not give me the money instead of some random dude on eBay? At least if I have it, you know it's not going to waste on some stupid thing like promoted eBay listings or food for the kids or something. If you give me your money instead, I promise I'll use it on useful things like buying views on TikTok. So before you decide to go to one of the more popular sites and line the pockets of some fat cat loser, take a look at my online store. Check out the link in the video description or the top pin comment and get 10% off any order over £25 during checkout. Alright, now you can go back to watching this douchebag on YouTube trying to fix something. You can't say stuff like that on an average dude. You're not my dad dude, don't tell me what to do. That's a G thing, Paul. Wait, what? Alright, so I need to connect up to UART so as I can read what's going on with the console. Okay, I'm on. So I'm going to solder a green wire to that pin there. Oh God, that wire is getting a little bit messed up. It doesn't need to be a great connection. As long as it's connected. Alright, one thing I've got to make sure of is that these wires don't touch any other pin. So I'm soldering them on an angle just to make sure of that. Should be good there like that. Connect that up to my PC. There we go. And it looks like we don't have a connection. Huh. Have I soldered those wires backwards? Possibly. TX is on the left. Yes, TX is on the left. So TX... I didn't just fart, honestly. No, that's correct. It was correct first time. Uh, so, why have we now not gotten any power? Now that I've uh, connected up UART. Okay, now we've got power. That is very odd. What the? Right, now let's connect up UART. Hmm, we might have a safe bridge issue on this. That's rather strange. As soon as I connect up the UART reader, we now no longer have power. That is... Very odd. So we're not going to be able to fault find this with the UART. What could this be? It's not going to be the 12 volt rail, but I will double check that just to make sure. Well, it's not going to be my 12 volt rail that's short. Let me just drain any excess current from that rail. Okay. I will double check it, but it's not going to be my 12 volt. Very unlikely. Because we do get some signs of life. Normally, if we've got a 12 volt short, it'll shut off the power supply before it actually uh, applies power to the 
board. So the power supply will kick itself into protection mode if that was the case. And yep, no short there. As I expected. So no short on 12 volt. We've got some 5 volt rails down here. No short there. And that fuse is good. What about these caps here? No. And... No. How about that fuse? Is that one good? Yep. Okay. So I'm just going to hunt around looking for shorts. See if I can find any. I don't really know the circuits too well. Well, I don't know the uh, location of the components. I know the circuits because the circuits are exactly the same as on the other PS5s. But I don't know yeah, I just don't know them as well in terms of positions. So, F7502. Ah, there we go. Hello. We have a short there, look. And a blown fuse. Lovely. We have a short and a blown fuse. Probably going to be one of these caps here, to be honest. For F7502, this circuit here is exactly the same as on the original PS5s, which is... Yeah, you guessed it. It's an SBB chip. Just there, look. See? Same circuit, just different layout, basically. But normally when this circuit fails, it's one of these three caps. Let's just inspect those closely. Let's see if there's any cracks in the caps. There is not. Alright. Well, the fuse is already blown. F7001 fuse could be blown as well. Well, I'm going to solder a wire, a bodge wire, and inject a volt, in, a volt into it just to find this short. And then we're going to be happy. So I'll inject, well, I'll solder a bodge wire to this cap here. There's my bodge wire, lovely. And then I'm going to set my bench supply to 1 volt. 3 amps of current, lovely. Lovely, right. Single short, reveal yourself. There you are, look. There you are, look. Hello, Mr. One Pence Capacitor. There you are, look. Can you see it evaporating? The IPA. Just there. There's your culprit. Alright. There's your culprit. Right there. Yeah, I need hot tweezers, man. It'd be so much quicker. It's so much quicker with hot tweezers. I should really just uh, invest in a pair, shouldn't I? Nah, where's the fun in that? go there's one dead cap gone and the fuse is dead as well so you may as well remove that also look at it 
It's breaking away, it's that bad. That fuse is taking some heat. Right. Grab a donor board. I'll just grab these components that I need. Well, first of all, I need to test them and make sure that they're good. No short. And that fuse is good. Alright, cool. Alright, there's my car. And there's my fuse. Fuse. Cut. Fuse. Boom. All right. Let's give that a test. Make sure it's all good. Fuse is good. And no short. Cool. Good. Sweet. Awesome. Fantastic. Right. Where's uh, F7001 on this board? Let me just find it. Oh, it's on this side. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So this circuit's linked to F7001, so I'm just going to double check it. Yeah, that fuse is fine. Okay, so the other fuse protected it. At least the fuse did its job this time, which is rare. If you don't have a dyno board, how would you find out what kind of cap and fuse you would need? Um, so the fuses have got markings on them, and you just have to use a um, comparison chart to find out the right value. Caps, it wouldn't be too important to put the cap on, but um, you just have to try and make an educated guess based on what kind of circuit it is. Which is why it's kind of important to at least know, you know, the, the basics of um, electronics just to be able to try and make those educated guesses. Well, that cap there, it's on a 5 volt line. It's likely going to be something like a 10 microfarad, 10 microfarad 6 volt or 10 microfarad 10 volt um, 0805. No, 0603 capacitor. Is it 0603? I think it's 0603. Um, but you could you could test the caps as well. Sometimes if the cap's short, it'll still tell you the microfarad on the multimeter. Or it'll give you a, a good enough reading to be able to make a guess. But caps like that, like smoothing capacitors, they're not really that important. <sighs> oh, well done, mate. Listen, I, I don't care. I will fart on a stream. I could not give a tox. We all do it, and anyone who says they don't is a lying bastard. It was the wind. Yeah, it was the wind, literally. <laughs> Moment of truth. Mmm. Well, 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 well. Well, 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 well. He doesn't live again, does he? Back to the drawing board, I guess. At the minute, isn't it? Right, so... That fuse is good.
that area is good. That fuse is fine. That fuse is fine. And that one. Right, I wonder if it's uh I wonder if it's taken out the uh the chip on the other side. That's possible. So there's the chip on the other side. No, that's fine. Do not tell me someone to replace the safe bridge. Don't tell me someone to replace the safe bridge on this. I will not be happy. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is either, mate, to be honest. Oh, God. Right, well, that's given a repair attempt fee. That's been replaced, isn't it? I don't think they're factory solder joints. For definite, there's something around that safe bridge. Look at it. It's all over it. Those are factory joints on the safe bridge. On the, sorry, not on the safe bridge, on the BIOS chip. I can you tell if it's replaced? Uh, it's got residue around it. Uh, I think that's meant to show up as short. I'm not seeing anything else. Except for residue in random places. Why? So, if the safe bridge has been replaced, I'm going to replace this with the BIOS chip from uh, EDMO 2 because as far as I know, if you replace the safe bridge and it's meant to have a 6.9 on it and it, you put a 6.1 on it, as far as I know, you have to put a 6.1 BIOS on it. I'm not sure. Oh, there's definitely flux on that. Someone's been around here. Yeah, that is not factory solder. My bad. So it could be that I've replaced the BIOS and floated the safe bridge. Maybe. Or it could be that they've replaced the safe bridge. But if they replaced the safe bridge, surely they would have been capable of finding that short, no? Right, let me let that cool down. I'll get I'll get 333 milliamps on that and it hangs. So I'm kind of getting a boot sequence there. Okay, yeah, we get a strange boot sequence here. Um, so I'm getting 320 milliamps. Um, but it's like, it's stepping up slowly, like, it's not, it's not going through the boot sequence like it, like I would expect it to, so it'll get to like 50 milliamps, hang for a second, get to 100 milliamps, hang for a second, and I would expect it to climb up fairly quickly, but then it's hanging on like 300 milliamps, 330 milliamps-ish. Right, so 10 milliamps. Right, now it's cooled down, it's not it's not booting. It's not going through the boot sequence now that it's cooled down. Yeah, 10 milliamps again. I have a feeling I've floated this safe bridge changing that BIOS chip. Maybe. By floating, I mean possibly mess the solder balls up underneath. Yeah, so I'm gonna reflow the safe bridge because when that was hot then, when it was warm, I was getting a, kind of getting a boot sequence. So I'll reflow it, cool it down. If it doesn't boot up, then I'll try replacing the safe bridge. There is a chance that while I was replacing the BIOS, they, uh, Messed up the balls on the safe bridge. 
just given the fact that it was sort of working with heat, you know, thermal expansion and all of that. Fix it till he broke it, yeah. Yep. Yeah, well, I think this says pretty faulty. Eh? What's interesting is that is that discoloration there. I didn't notice that before, but yeah. But the discoloration on the ground plane. No. Uh, right. Okay. Putting this original BIOS back on it. Well, that's working. For us to reboard a safe bridge chip. Um, what, as in, like, just reboard one for you or supply one reboard? Because to be honest, I'd probably charge the same price as I actually charge to supply a re. Uh, like if you wanted me to re bore one, like I'd, I'd probably be charging like thirty quid, uh, but I will sell them for like forty, either forty or forty five. Is it already? Is it still on the PS five? Because if it's on the PS five, it'd be like a normal job. Um, but why does it need re boarding? That's the question. Wait, is that lung blood now? That would be treated like a normal job, really. Um, if I didn't have to replace the chip, I'd just charge £60 labour for that. If I did have to replace the chip, I'd, I'd charge 100 because I'd have to supply the chip as well. That looks like it's a lung pulsing blood, unless it's stuck on an update screen. Recognising as a PS5. Yeah. It, it's telling me that the M.2 has not been unplugged properly. All right. Yeah, it's working. Console bought as needing a new PSU when stripped down to a place. The seller had removed the safe bridge due to another fault. The chip is still here, so I'm sure if any good. Right, okay. Yeah, so, um, mm, likely on that one, mate, to be honest, is it would probably need replacing because you don't know what kind of heat's been put into it. That'd be your issue, is you don't know what kind of heat's been put into it, so is it worth the chance for, you know, like an extra £40? What was the problem? Uh, looks like uh, someone flogged the safe bridge. So a customer's going to have to pay a little bit of extra labour on that. For the fact that, fact that this should have been fixed 20 minutes ago. And then 90 plus kilometres an hour. Yeah, about 60 mile an hour, yeah. Alright, let's give this a test. There you go, turning on first time now. First time every time. I hate passcodes. Why not provide the passcode with the system? Jesus. Ghost of Tsushima. Is this the new FIFA? Is this the new FIFA? That's two consoles in a row I've just seen with Ghost of Tsushima on it. And both of them had no fucking power. Is this the new FIFA? Ah, oh, well, this guy deserves it anyway. He, he's playing Hogwarts Legacy, look. Served him right. Anyway. I'll just put GTA in. Unreadable disc. Huh. Hmm, mind you. It is filthy. Uh Let's try FIFA. Why have I got two copies of GTA? Huh. Hey, we just installed the FIFA virus. Right, settings. System. Console info. It's running 8.4, so that's the latest version. So I can't do an update check, but shouldn't need it anyway. HDMI. Yep, it's installed in a game. LAN cable connected. That's a cool idea, you like behind the TV. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's not bad, but it messes with the focus on the camera. It looks alright when the uh, 
when the lights are off. Next, I'll turn off the office. Okay. Looks pretty cool when they took when the lights are off. Is the Ethernet port damaged? No, I don't think so. Can't obtain an IP address. Hmm. Okay, now it's connected. That could be my Ethernet port then. Wow. That fucking wind. Turn on the office. Turn on the office. Okay. Turn off the fume extractor. Okay. Right, when it's connected now, it could just be my port then. Right. FIFA 19. Yep, it loads the game. See, look. This is how bad FIFA is for your console. It even turns your controller red. EA Sports. You're just a pain. It was on me. Right, anyway. Let's shut that down. There we go. And job done. I call that good. I call that good. It's good. Yeah, well, that was a little bit more awkward than it should have been. But we got there in the end. Um, blown cap as usual. Blown fuse as usual. Well, actually, no. The fuse did its job for once. Uh, blown cap, blown fuse, and someone messed around with the Sainsbury's area and messed that up. It is what it is, so I'll be charging the customer a little bit extra because of that, but oh well, other than that, job done, happy days.